If you're a content creator and care about your channel, please don't talk about red, white and blue. This summer, I published a video discussing Red, White and Blue, a short film focused on women's rights and inspired by the real-life case of a young girl having to travel out of state to get an abortion. The video did not perform well until it recently became one of my fastest growing videos, and that's when the team behind the movie decided to launch legal actions against my channel by filing a copyright strike, not a copyright claim, a full-on copyright strike, my first ever. It's a big deal because if a creator gets three copyright strikes, their channel could be deleted, as stated by YouTube itself. The team behind Red, White and Blue claims that their copyright material was found in my entire video, which is inaccurate. Less than two minutes of the total nine-minute runtime were dedicated to discussing the movie. It was also transformative, which means my video fell under the definition of fair use. No audio from the movie was used. I scripted a short analysis of the film and the real-life story that inspired it. I recorded a voiceover and on-camera commentary and added new music effects and titles. Concise one to three second clips and screen grabs were included for visual aid. Other archival clips including interviews and news extracts were used for context in this commentary, making up most of the video runtime. Similar analysis have been published on YouTube under fair use. For example, channels like Altshift X can publish their House of the Dragon analysis because of fair use, Quinn's Ideas can publish their Dune deep dives because of fair use, their work like mine is is transformative. I attempted to contact the team behind the copyright strike to reach an agreement, a step YouTube encourages creators to take, but I have not received an answer yet. I believe this is an objectionable use of the copyright system on YouTube. I'm also disappointed that the movie's stated goal does not match their team's actions. During the promotional period of the film, the creative team behind Red, White and Blue said they made the movie to spark conversation about women's rights, but when I use my platform to join the discussion under fair use, I'm sent a copyright strike putting my channel in jeopardy and erasing my work, the bulk of which did not even pertain to their movie. I used the movie as a pretext to spark a broader conversation about an issue I deeply care about, the step back in women's rights, a goal I initially thought aligned with red, white and blue. So if you're a content creator and care about your channel, please don't talk about red, white and blue, they don't want you to. If you're the team behind the movie, please reach out, let's come to an agreement and perhaps we could build a relationship moving forward. And for those who join the conversation in the comments of my now deleted video, I'm sorry your voice has been erased. There's nothing I can do about it, it's up to Red, White and Blue LLC to fix it or not.